Alright, hi guys. So I can't sleep and I feel like I should be sharing my knowledge with the world at... What time is it? Not that late. 11, like 11.30 on Monday night and I have work tomorrow. I should be studying for the SAT. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm probably not going to get into the college I want. Not going to get the SAT score I want. But you know what? It's fine because... It's not really fun, but whatever. So anyway, this is going to be a quick introduction to Kali Linux. Why? Well, you're probably wondering, why should I use this distribution of Linux? Well, one, it's fantastic for cybersecurity and hacking. Because it comes with all these tools embedded and a pretty sweet terminal. Personally, I like the Kali terminal better than the Linux term, better than like, I, I guess my kind of go-to version is Ubuntu. And honestly, I like the Kali terminal better than the Ubuntu terminal. But, so basically, I'm going to do my best to show you how you can install your own distro of Kali. And this is just going to be super simple, I guess, if you're familiar with a computer or virtual machines. And I guess, basically, what a virtual machine is, it can be used to run many different OSs. So many different operating systems, Mac, whatever here. I'm going to just open this up and we're going to do this. So as you can tell, I, you know, I don't run that many operating systems. <laughs> Forget the Mac ones there. I think that's like a copyright thing or like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Apple wants you running their software. I might do a video on that if people want to see how to run Mac OS in a VM. So I guess this is the one I'm going to be talking about how to do right now it's just in a preserved state if you can't tell so i go to my favorite my personal favorite website cali.org slash get cali and so they actually make this incredibly easy so like for ubuntu what i had to do was i had to download the iso image and that took forever and then i had to let me just tap somewhere. Oh, I suspended it, so it's not gonna... Hang on, this is the one I want to power off. Actually, well, anyway. If you have virtual machines that are not open, there's gonna be options right here to either create a new virtual machine or open a virtual machine. And so what you can do is you can download this form right here. I am using, I think you have to pay for VirtualBox, or maybe VirtualBox is a Mac thing. I don't know. I don't use VirtualBox. I use VMware. I've always used VMware. Yeah, I don't really know that much about VirtualBox. I'm resisting the urge to Google it right now. All right. So we're going to download... My computer is having a stroke. So once you download it, you can just open your file or you open your file explorer. And this is right here where I have my image. I use, I just um, unzipped it. Yep, whatever. Yeah, I have a lot of files. So anyway, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. So I have, I suspended my virtual machine state. Don't show me that my network's been, yeah. So anyway, I'm just gonna real quick go in here and show you some settings. So depending on what, how many, how much memory your computer has, you can assign memory to the virtual machine. That's mine right now two gigs it's recommended I probably honestly don't even need that probably could be running one gig and then I have a quad-core processor probably everyone who's joined the 21st century has a quad-core processor actually now that I'm saying this my other laptop doesn't so who knows sorry for computer shaming you Anyway, here's, you know, just hard disk size, 80 gigabytes. I feel like that's pretty reasonable, honestly. So again, sometimes you have to use a image ISO file 
This one's super easy in the fact that it will just auto detect your VM file. Yeah, anywhere there's your this sound, USB, that stuff's kind of boring, you know, power, whatever, whatever. And then you can just pick whatever operating system is, and you kind of have to break this to get it to install Mac OS. Sorry, I should not be laughing about that. Yeah, they really don't want you to install Mac OS. And then anyway, you can click this, do some full screen, you know, so now you look like a hacker or whatever you're going for, I don't know. So we're just gonna... So the default password is Kali. User and password's Kali. I think it tells you when you go to download this. So now we have our terminal. I don't know about you, but I, I just kind of think this looks sick. So I don't know if you've used Linux before, not used Linux before, you can go ls list, we're in the root directory, so I guess there's nothing into the root directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cd, what cd is, is change directory, and it's just pulling up the last program I had. So I'm just going to cd into user, yep, that's, and then this is fantastic. This, I love this. Unlike Ubuntu, it automatically is the tab completion. I just completed it a little too much. Whatever, I'll just click enter. Uh, we can do ls. And then, you know, you know, I'm sure you know the drill. ls zips all your, um, shows all your files. And then this right here just shows all of these. This is all the programs. Again, the great part about Ubuntu is it comes with all these programs installed. Wow. And this is all like cybersecurity stuff. Py wow, yeah, did you see all those versions of Python? This I I I really like this. Yeah. Okay. So then um So what you can do is if you want to see, we're going to just um see you back into the main directory right now. But if you to update the list of files, if you want to see even more programs, you can do update, please focus, update db, and yeah. And then if you want to locate something, locate, and then I'll just do John, my favorite password cracking activity, my favorite activity program, stupid. So anyway, this just shows, whoa, all of the file locations. Maybe try grep on that. It's fine. It wasn't that helpful. Okay. And then, um, I'm trying to think what else would be helpful. Oh, so if you need to SSH, you cannot because Kali actually starts with the SSH server disabled by default. And that's because this is supposed to be used for like I don't know, maybe doing some penetration tests, or maybe you don't want to have your SSH. I don't know. I like my SSH. And I'll just show you real quick how to turn that on, because at first I know I was trying to do it, and I was like, oh, this is turned off. So just start, I mean, service, SSH, start. And again, yeah, this has, I love how this has completion. Yeah, so that just started that. And then... Yeah, so this is just basically a little introduction to Kali. I mean, yep, terminal. It's not as, I mean, it's intuitive, I guess. It's not as bad as Arch. It's text editor. This is... I just launched Firefox three times because there was a small lag. Yeah, there we go. Welcome to Kali Linux, the industry's most advanced penetration testing distribution. Yeah, and then they have the documentation right here. Training. And then about. Sponsored by Offensive Security. Oh, this is actually pretty... Th and then we have training. This is cool. I wonder what you need to do to get your... You probably have to pay to get a certificate. Take the oh, I want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I haven't actually. 
looked at this that much. Yeah. You earn it. Try. Okay, yeah. I might see what I can do to get a certificate in this, because this looks pretty sweet. Alright, so, anyway, that was, you know, just a little... I don't know, introduction to Cali. So anyway, hope you like this video, I guess. Bye. Thanks for watching.